Hey guys, I'm back. Sharon with Little Britain Company. Um, and today I have a second uh, Dollar Tree haul for you. So I actually did one this morning. It's Saturday, February 4th. Um, and I did a haul this morning that I had gotten and was super excited about. I just thought I had found some things that I had just never seen and I wanted to share them with you right away. That haul is coming out Sunday. So, um, but on top of that, we were in Raleigh to fix the phone and uh, stopped by a really nice Dollar Tree there. Really nice. Super excited about that one. Um, it's always nice to go into the Dollar Trees when they're nice and clean and well put together. Um, and this one had like four and a half out of five stars. I thought, oh, we'll go there. <laughs> we'll stop there. That sounds good. Um, but I want to tell you really quickly, here's my story for the day, about my phone. So we had we you know we had to we first went, we went to Wilson they couldn't fix it they didn't have the part they didn't have the new screen so we made an appointment for today in Raleigh I was picking up something else that I went ahead and, and sort of combined it move that around a little bit there we go uh, with something else I needed to pick up some uh, little golden books I was getting uh, from a um, off of the Facebook marketplace I love shopping on Facebook marketplace and um, so anyway we go into the um, to the uh, Apple store, wait our turn. Guy comes over, looks at the phone, and he said, he, well, I said, yeah, the screen's broken, can I see it? I handed my phone, and he says, um, are you sure the screen's broken? And I'm looking at it, there's like big cracks across the front of it. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure the screen's broken. And he said, I think it's actually the screen saver that you have on top of it. And I said, he said, do you have a screen saver on top of it? Yeah. And my husband didn't realize, I know he knew that I had a screensaver. This camera's making me crazy. Um, he's like, oh, no, no. I was like, yeah, of course I do. I mean, I went and I bought one um, and, <laughs> and and it wasn't cheap. It was like 30 or $40 just for the, you know, it's just that, that layer that goes on top of the screen. Uh, he said, well, I'm pretty sure it did its job. So he pulls it off and sure enough, my phone screen is pristine, perfect, in perfect condition. The screensaver is shattered. And, and his comment was, well, the screen, that's what the screensaver is supposed to do. It's supposed to literally save your screen in a fall. I had never seen anything like that. He clearly knew what he was doing. So my phone was fine. I didn't need anything replaced on it other than I'll go get the same screensaver. I don't remember the name. I have the box over here somewhere. Um, when I get it, I will link that down below. So if you are interested in a screensaver, you'll know the brand that I purchased because uh, I was just so excited that I didn't have to actually hand my phone over to anyone, which for me is a very anxious thing. I don't know. You know, I think um, not everyone feels that anxiety, but when I have to hand my phone over, I feel very anxious about it because it kind of holds everything these days. Anyway, so that's that's my my story. The screen was not broken, uh, but the screen saver was shattered. Uh, so very, very interesting and just nothing that I had expected. Anyway, let's get on to the haul. Um, so I'm going to start by showing you the little golden books that I got today. As I said, I was on um, uh, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, so I got... Uh, 18 little golden books for $30, which is quite a deal. I don't know. I, I haven't done the breakdown of math, but you know, it certainly isn't $2 a piece. It's not, you know, maybe $1.50 a piece. I don't know. Um, but they're wonderful. And I'm now I'm so excited to get started on these uh, little golden books. So I found, I got Bunny's ABC. It's so cute. It is so so adorable. I'm just going to flip a couple pages here for you. Um, love it. That was a wonderful deal. That's why I got these, because I saw that they had some perfect Easter ones. Peter Rabbit. I used to collect Beatrice Potter books when I was younger. I always have loved her artwork. This is actually not her artwork, but I still love, love her tail. Aren't these beautiful pictures um little cotton tail this is so exciting a lot of these are originals which surprised me not all of them but enough of them the fuzzy duckling 
Now this one is interesting. Um, it is missing its first page. So in this one, I will, uh, uh, you know, I, it won't really matter tremendously that it's missing that introductory page. Um, it's just kind of interesting. Um, so it will change the size of the um, signatures in the, in the junk journal, but I just thought the fuzzy little duckling was so perfect. Oh yeah, so in the back, it has these Disney sheets about ordering Disney books. Um, this is really kind of cool. I don't know whether I'll leave them with this because I love that ephemera type piece or take them out and use them something else. I'll probably leave them with them. I did see these have been well loved and there are a couple of books in here where they have a torn page. The page is all there, the page is torn. Um, I am you know, certainly work as a librarian, so I know how to fix a torn page archivally so it doesn't um, yellow in the future. So you you just have to use the right adhesives when you're when you're doing that. Um, look at this one, Eloise Wilkins. That Eloise Wilkins is the um, author that my sister, my eldest sister, um, collected, uh, and may she may still. I haven't asked her. I'll have to ask her. Um, Look how beautiful these are. The, uh, beautiful pictures. I mean, um, really, really beautiful. So those first ones are the ones that I'll be using for um, for the Easter junk journals. And then these will, you know, go into the, I don't know how many journals, how many junk journals I'll have in my next um, show. I think I have two, no, one left over from the last one. So uh, anyway, I'd like to have like, maybe five, four or five. Um, they're certainly, they, they are time consuming. So you certainly want, you know, I want to do them well. Now I tried to rush some at one point and I then ended up putting them aside. And um, cause I decided I just, I don't want to sell anything that I feel isn't complete for somebody, including my junk journals. I love putting in all those little extra pieces. So, um, so I didn't have as many Christmas junk journals as I wanted. Uh, for some of my sales, but that's okay because you know what I did have was quality and I felt comfortable with that. So um, Just so sweet the detail on these let me see if I can find out the details on these is just look at the puppy I don't know if you can see them at all. Uh, anyway, uh, so Eloise um, This one is Garth Williams. That was Eloise. Welcome. Is this did Gar I think Garth Williams also illustrated this one. I think so. Um, but the but anyway, little gold books. This one is just funny. Clearly, there's a uh, maybe seventies look to this one. Let's see if I can figure it out. Seventy nine. This was the tenth printing in seventy nine, but it wasn't that that much older, and it was given to someone in eighty. So, um, because it still has. Saren of Now this one is in, um, let me show you this. This one is actually in very rough shape. And again, that's okay. I just need to uh, work with it a little bit. So you can see the top of that is not in great shape, but the, you know, the pictures are gorgeous. I love the umbrella. Seriously, don't go anywhere in England without an umbrella. <laughs> You'll regret it. <laughs> um, okay, so the happy man and his dump truck. It's perfect. So cute. These are just uh, super fun. So this is funny. So this one was, was originally $2.99. This one was 69 cents. Several of these were 69 cents. You can tell a little bit about the part with the price tags. Now they sell, now most of them, and if you buy them um, new, you're going to pay brand new. I think they're 4 dollars to 5 dollars I know the Queen Elizabeth ones that I bought for those junk journals were $5.99, um, which is really why I should charge more for those journals because just to start with the book, um, you know, that book was expensive just to start with, so. Um, this one, someone tried to repair and you can see that they've left kind of a, um, 
raised tape here. Um, so I don't know what I'll do with that. I may go ahead and burnish it down so it doesn't show so much. And once I redo the, you know, once I open this up and do the, the back and the front, most of that will be hidden. So, uh, but this is where the kisses come from. I read, <laughs> I we picked it up when we were driving through Raleigh to our, you know, to our destination of, of being at the, um, uh, the uh, uh, Apple store on time. And I, and I was joking with, uh, with a uh, little bit, I'm going to read you a book today. Um, I do actually still read sometimes, but we're reading like, you know, Percy Jackson and um, Lockwood and Co and things like that. I mean, things are actually interesting to both of us. So uh, just, just reading it together. Um, but we, he had, he had fun with this one. So as I, I would read a page and then he would make fun of something and then I would read on the end. He's a funny kid. <laughs> okay, let's go trucks. This is so cute. So 69 cents tells me that it's one of the older ones. Um, cute, cute, cute. These are adorable. And let's see, the shy little kitten. I actually think I have uh, quite a few of the shy little kitten as I'm putting together the, the, um, my junk journal kits, which I got to tell you will probably not be ready to sell until the beginning of summer because things are just super busy at work and, um, getting ready for this, uh, the show, but they will be ready. I want to, I want to say the beginning of June. So it's a little bit off. It's, it's March. I mean, that certainly is all of all of March, April, and May gives me three months to get these together. But again, I want to make them packed and I want to make them quality. Um, so, but I do have shy little kitten books to go into those. This one actually somebody was. It's got the price on it. Interesting. Although I'm not a cat person because I'm, you know, allergic, I certainly appreciate cats. Did you read in the news that, um, I was reading that just today, that uh, in England, they actually considered um, killing off all of the cats. All of them. I'm not really, I didn't read the whole article. I was really just reading. I was like, are you kidding? Why? Why would you? I don't, I don't know whether they thought that the cats could carry the virus or were carrying it around or, um, I thought that was bizarre and I, I will read more into it because I'm sure there's more to that story than just that we're going to kill off all the cats. Um, but I, it still kind of freaked me out that that was even ever on the table. Um, because people love their cats, just like I love my dogs. Uh, it would not have gone well. Okay. Um, little red hen. Always a classic. Cute, cute, cute. Let's see. This one's cute. A day on the farm. I'm. It, it is. It's really interesting. As I get into, um, oh, I love that. Just that front page. I love. As I get further into my little golden books, and I see more and more, and I and I try to find ones that I haven't seen. I find out there are a lot I haven't seen. I would love to know. I don't know that I know the, the total number of little golden books there are out there. I'll look it up sometime. I'm really interested. So this was, I'm guessing 60s, late 60s, 59 cents. And some of these I have hauled before. So this is a Santa's toy shop. Um, I'm sure it is a, not the original year of, per, of a date, but I love this one. It's so cute. And, it, and it's well loved. I like Santa and Mrs. Claus at the end of the day. The cat that climbed the Christmas tree. Super sweet. Let's see. Cute. Oh. This one, this is interesting because this is the um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Shines Again. And 
I am not a huge fan of this particular artwork. Um, but inside, I like the artwork. So they were not nice to Rudolph. And I never appreciated it. Never. I always thought that that was just wrong. And why? Why were they so unkind? And I never believed, I actually never believed the story because I just never thought Santa would be so unkind. And we've got the Nutcracker. This one feels like it's never been opened because the spine hasn't been cracked. So I'm about to crack this fine. Which is super cool. 91. Pristine book. Looks like the outside cover has moved around a little bit, but the inside has been untouched. Cute. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. I always love that. The 12 Days of Christmas. This one's got to be 70s. 60s or 70s, you think? They can't be right. Uh, I want to say 60, maybe 67. I'll have to look at it again. Again, I, I am not fully remembering my Roman numerals. And I really need, I kept saying I need to look those back up again. I used to teach the Roman numerals. But... Most of them I'm good with, and then it gets into like little blurry, blurry areas. So that is the haul from today um, of these little golden books that I'm so excited about. So these four are going straight onto my desk for me to start working with, and I'm going to film some of that. Um, so we're going to do the Fuzzy Duckling, um, Little Cottontail, Peter Rabbit, and Bunny's ABCs. Those are going to be junk journals. Toot sweet. Okay, so let's get into what I picked up at Dollar Tree today. Um, it wasn't it wasn't huge. Shocking, I know, I know. Um, and there's uh, there's some candy in here because there's some things in here for uh, for Easter. It's a little bit early, but I like to just get some of that stuff done and out of the way. Um, so I'll show you what I got. So I found um, this really cute fabric. Oh, why it's being so funky on this side it doesn't want to fully I've got it on this uh, cinematic um, setting so maybe that will give you a full focus this is really cute this is super cute this this guy um, I thought he was I thought that one the unicorn was really cute and then let me get to show you this next one I found. I'll do something for a little bit for his birthday with this. I don't know what yet. P probably just a little pillow or something um, that he can have while he's gaming. Look at that one. Isn't that fun? Loading pause. Loading pause. It's kind of <laughs> the name of the game. I may do something. I don't know. We'll see. I may do something for his girlfriend with this. Because I think she likes unicorns. We'll see. Um, there's so much on my plate right now. Maybe not. Because her birthday is like next week. Um, I did pick up a cute little uh, bow tie for St. Patrick's Day. It's coming upon us pretty quickly. And, um, and I just want, you know, usually they let the kids wear something special. So he's such a fancy dresser. He's like a bow tie. Something cute. I picked up, so they sell these at Dollar Tree, which, who knew? That was cool. And the watermelon ones, I actually love the watermelon ones. And the Peeps, although there's a lot of sugar in them, this whole serving is only 130 calories. So this is something that I sometimes, something like this is something I sometimes treat myself with. Um, Little Brit was uh, never allowed to have gum until maybe a year ago was the first time he was really allowed to have gum. He loves, does like his gum sometimes. Usually we give him like um, the ones that actually clean your teeth while you're chewing them. And he likes those just fine. But for something fun every once in a while. So this is for his Easter basket. And this one and this one 
He's, these, the, I thought these were really fun for him. He does like to build with Legos. That's probably about it. I told you before, he is not a big candy eater, uh, which is fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, he was at the dentist maybe a month and a half ago, um, and his teeth are looking beautiful. He has no calorie, no calories, no, no cavities. Um, he did have a little, like, tiny thing starting on one tooth. Um, and then just wasn't really sure about that one, but he's actually getting that taken care of, um, at the end of the month. So he's going in there to have that just so it doesn't get any bigger. It doesn't, but for the most part, his teeth are looking beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Um, probably cause he doesn't like candy. And the last thing I bought is for, oh, oh I got those things. So every once in a while we do, um, movie night, you know, we'll, we'll like get the movie out, turn the lights out and do movie night. We started doing that. You know, I've, I've done that with my kids since they were little. Um, but certainly during COVID, every Friday became movie night because we couldn't go anywhere. So we always tried to find something new. Um, whether I had to order a movie or whatever it was, just something. Um, sometimes it was a series. Anyway, anyway, so we did movie night every Friday night. Um, so we would sometimes get special candies. Well, I have not seen Goobers. I grew up on these at theaters. My father owned theaters when I was growing up. So we went to a lot of movies. The movies are just part of my childhood. And I always loved Goobers. I have not seen these, I don't think in years, in years and years. And they were at the Dollar Tree. And I was, I'm going to get some. I'm going to get them. Um, I did, I found even more. So I found these little bunny chicks. I think they're just really super sweet. Those go into his candy box. He won't eat all of that. We'll end up giving that stuff away for the most part but he likes to get it. Um, and I did find this, which I thought was super unusual. This is probably not going to go into his box. Watermelon. So one bag is 220 cal 230 calories, but I don't think you could eat a whole bag of this at once. It's big. It sounds interesting. So when I have decided that it's okay for me to have a little treat because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to eat responsibly. But I know for me, if I try to cut everything out, I'm, it's, it's a fail for me. It's just not, I need to, you know, for me, eating responsibly is also making sure every once in a while I get a treat. So I know, I know I'm, <laughs> I'm explaining myself away, but, um, anyway, I did find the, uh, kind of, uh, Ticonderoga pencils, these are fabulous pencils, um, and they're expensive at the stores. For a dollar twenty-five for ten, and I think they're pre-sharpened. Um, yeah, they're already sharpened, so I'm keeping those here for little Brit. Um, normally, I would take some like that to school, but um, I did pick up shipping labels. Some for boxes, some for um, uh, for journaling. Um, but some, some for sending, uh, sending stuff up as, as things get ordered. Um, I did get this, uh, Easter play pad for the junk journals because I thought some of this was really cute and would be fun in some of the pockets. Something like that is sometimes really fun to find in some of those pockets. Um, so also for the pockets, I found this one letters. I have not seen what's inside. I did not open it at the store. I'm hoping that it is full of, oh yeah, pictures. So this one is just called letters and it is, uh, it is a Dollar Tree product. Look at that. Oh, I love the jellyfish. It's an owl, salt, wagon and then some of these start to get in you know name the beginning letters so it's not just looking at them they've got a little bit of other stuff going on but you know for me i'm really just into the pictures um but these are super wonderful for um for journaling for junk journaling and then you have uh, a apple and alligator on each you know uh, something on each one so two things on each one i don't make any sense so cat on one side and corn on the other. Little Brit was a big, big piece of corn. 
it was a big um, corn on the cob for Halloween this past year. I, I Joe, we went into Target and I jokingly said, "Hey, you want to be a corn on the cob?" Because we were looking for a costume. It was kind of late, last minute, because he had been kind of waffling about whether he wanted to go. It's like you, you know, you're not too old for this. And um, he took one look at that and he, yes, I want to be a corn. And I was like, I was just joking. Now you know. What I, no, he, and he really did, and he loves that costume. So, um, I found Tappy Easter. And this is really, really cute. Um, so you've got this cute little counting book, but with all of these wonderful Eastery penguin Easter pictures, which I think is adorable. Um, and so I will take this and I will, uh, my plan is to turn this into another junk journal. Easy enough, I can just cut it down the middle and uh, turn the pages. I will, but since the inside is empty, uh, this will be attached to chipboard and uh, that will give us the strength that I need for a drunk journal. So I picked up these really pretty napkins and I'm going to try to turn these into uh, paper. Um, Posh Paper Lady has done that on her channel in the past and I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm going to try it. I've never tried it before. We'll see if it, if it works. I'll have some really pretty paper um, to use for some of these. So I did get another um, uh, fat quarter. I think this is the only other one that I got today. Let me get this off. I hate the sticky stickers. Yes, Sharon, sticky stickers are bad. We want stickers that don't stick. Okay, this is, I just thought this, this uh, pastel tie-dye was really pretty and would, would be a good foil against maybe something like that. I think those two go together really well. Um, so I got that one. This is for me. This, I do not normally buy stuffed animals from the Dollar Tree, but this little bunny, isn't he adorable? He's so cute. He's gonna go up on the shelf. Let's, you know, he's gonna, he's gotta, he's gotta have a place on the, on the bunny shelf behind me. There we go. Looks like he's waving high. Sorry, that's, that's the bunny shelf. Um, okay, so, <laughs> where's that other bag? I don't know where, I think that got left inside. I also stopped at Pop Pop Store, Pop something, um, and looked around in there because I've heard people talking about it and I was so excited to go in and I found there was one like literally right across the street from this Dollar Tree and it was a big bunch of nothing for the most part for me. I, actually, that's, I, I shouldn't say it that way. It was, they, they had beautiful things, but I didn't see prices that excited me or, um, or a bunch of items that excited me. I just didn't see, you know, for me, it would not be a place I would go into a whole lot. I mean, it, it had pretty things, but the prices just weren't exciting. Um, so this was interesting. So I found this. I bought this at the Dollar Tree. Now, this is the one thing that I will say. And then I found the literally the exact same thing at Pop. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The Pop Store Pops. Uh, anyway, I found this exact same thing for just a dollar. So I did buy another one there for just a dollar. Save myself a quarter. Um, what else did I buy there? I bought a pack of um, the. It looks like Easter grass, but it's gum for a little bit for his uh, for his thing. Something else small. I I, I spent like uh, four bucks and probably didn't need to spend four bucks there, but um, okay. We're getting to the end of it all. Shocking. I know. Look at that. So I did find, I was very excited to find these, um, these sort of glitter sprinkle jumbo glitter. Um, this I can have cause this you can pick up and vacuum away. I can have whatever I want. It's just that I try to be respectful of my husband's wishes. He'd be fine with it either way. Cause he's a sweet man. Um, but so, uh, so I found those, I thought I might try to do a, um, a couple of the, I haven't done the, you know, the cards with the, the, the shaker cards. Um, 
So I, I, I'm thinking about doing a couple of those and just sort of seeing how they go. Um, I know they're supposed to have two other colors there. I just didn't see them. These, literally, these were the only two I saw at all. Um, but I'll look more at our stores because our stores get things in late. I went to one of our stores this morning and it was like eight. So we have three, the three big ones here in town. And then there are two other ones that are just a little bit further out. Let me throw it there. And, um, so I went to, uh, I had gone to the, you know, our main store, um, Friday night where I got the first haul. And then this morning, um, I actually ran out to a, um, estate sale. They, I had seen in some of the pictures that they had little golden books. I got there right after they opened and it turned out that, um, that the, it was, it wasn't really a estate. Sale. I mean, it was, it was a living estate sale. The person had simply moved and, uh, but, but the granddaughter, guy's daughter, um, she wanted them. So they were gone. So, so I was out and about. And so the, anyway, the, long story longer. So the, the regular store opens, the, the main store opens at eight o'clock, the one I had been to Friday night. So I ran over to one of our other ones. Well, I just, I just forget that one doesn't open until 9am where the other one opens at 8am. I was way early for that one. So, cause it was only like 830 by the time I got over there. So I didn't get to that one. Having said all that, I'll go back to that one probably tomorrow and see if they have the other colors. Because as I was leaving, they were, so this is the other story. I, I always got stories for you. So as I'm leaving and I, I kind of drove through the back area, I could see that they had a big truck there and they were unloading just a huge volume of stuff. And all I could think was, oh my word, where will they put any of it? That store is already jam packed. Where's this going to go? I'm just saying. Just, you know, I'm excited to see what it is. I hope they can get it out. Yeah. Uh, the Raleigh store was interesting because they did still have, I, as I walked around, I saw Christmas items and I saw Thanksgiving items and I saw, so they still had those things. Dollar Tree kind of needs to figure out what they're going to do with that kind of volume. You know, can't sit around forever. They should, they really should just do big clearance and move some of it out, but that's just me. I picked up some of these, uh, these magnetic uh, to-do packs um, because I like to use these. So I'll take these, um, I'll take the magnet off the back and I'll create a little folio for them. Um, sometimes ones that open this way and ones that over the top because, you know, on the refrigerator is great, but sometimes you want one that you can carry around with you. And so I make like really pretty covers for them and a little pocket that goes in the front of them so that you also have a place to put like coupons. So here's my to-do list, I'm carrying it around, but I also have my coupons right there in my in my list. So, um, so that's what these are for. I really liked this one. I thought this one was very, you know, has some nice clean tones to it. This one, this one, does, it just reminds me of spring. It's got that nice, nice look to it this week. Also, you know, your to-do list. I mean, sometimes some of these things are really to-do lists or they're, as the other one said, they're notes. And, you know, don't you want to carry that around or have, have access to it, not just stuck to your fridge? And then I bought this one, which I thought was really pretty. And I know that there's less, um writing space. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you could write over the, the colored spaces, but I just thought it, it, it reminds me of cherry blossoms. And I thought that was really pretty. And I already could think of some things that I could do with that. Um, so then I picked up one of these. Um, I very much like to use this paper in some of my journals because it has a bit, um, it's, it's a decent, it's a decent weight, but it, it kind of has that old vintagey feel to it, uh, which I really like. I like to be able to kind of recreate a little bit of that vintage. That's what I like about, for me, what I really like about the um, junk journals is that they feel a little bit vintagey. Um, and I think that's cool. And then I picked up three, I really liked this color, um, three of these magazine holders because I really need them for the magazines that I do. Um, I have been looking for more of those uh, to do for this month and I can't find them. They're poof, gone. Um, 
bookstore didn't have any. Uh, Sam's Club didn't have any. I have not been over to, I haven't been able to get to um, Joanne's. So that's going to be my third place to look. If it's there, then tomorrow I'll be filming um, that monthly magazine uh, review with those uh, with those British magazines that always have the special cool stuff in them. I love the cool stuff. Love it. Um, but that's it. That was my haul for today. I, you know, knowing me, I have all my stories, so I stretched it. But um, it's, it wasn't a huge haul, but just some really interesting things. And again, some things I haven't seen. Um, so I'm always excited to find stuff that I haven't seen and, you know, give you a heads up so you can be looking for it too. So um, anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I want you guys to have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, um, I hope you think about it. You know, we have a lot of fun here on Little Brit. <laughs> or hit the like button. That's that's really helpful. Um, just lets me know this is what you want to see. And if you don't hit the like button, I know you, you're not, you know, this isn't something you want to see. So, um, you know, I'm here for you. I feel like I'm Uncle Sam. Okay, that's it for me for today. You guys have a great day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching. Cheers.